Hello, my name is Wendy Trong and I'm a Technical Service Engineer at SMA Australia. Today I'll be showing you how to create personalised pages in Sunny Portal. I'll be using an existing plant to show you the type of information that you can show and we'll be creating some sample pages so you have the instructions on how to do it. So when we first open up Sunny Portal, you go to the plant overview. On the left you see some default tabs, visualization, and if you were to scroll down, there is a configuration section. We'll be starting with some sample pages that I've already created as examples. So the first example page would be for the plant and weather. So on this page, it's actually been divided into three sections. The first on the left is an image, some text on the right, and there is a diagram. So in order to create your own page, you'll first need to go to configuration and visualization. You come into group configuration, where you'll see there are some standard pages that are already prepared by Sunny Portal. What we'll like to do is actually create a new page, which is create user defined pages or groups. So click on new page. Here we get to choose how many diagrams we would like on the page. For now, we'll enter a page name. And we will choose a page with three diagrams. So just click on the image. This will then take you to page configuration. The modules is set up as you would have chosen for the diagrams. So the first one, we'll choose a module type for image and click on create. When you choose an image, it will bring up your photo gallery on Sunny Portal. If your image isn't shown in the gallery, you can choose to upload it by clicking on the upload button and browsing through your computer for the file. We're using an image that's already been uploaded. You'll need to double click it to select and it will give you a preview of the image you've selected. You can choose to put a title, which I will leave blank, and click save. So you see that the module type has changed the image. For this second module type, we'll choose to put in some text, select create. This time it will bring up a standard HTML text box. So you can just put in the text that you like. So put in the text that you would like to put on the page, scroll down and click save. For the third module, um, we choose to put in a diagram, which was the graph that was shown earlier. So select diagram and click on create. So you'll notice here that there is a Y1 axis. For your filter selection, we'll be choosing the sensor, which includes the sensor box. For devices, it will be the sensor box 042. If you have more than one device, you can identify them by the last three digits of the serial number. For the channel, we'll be choosing ambient temperature. To add the channel, you must click on the green add button. And you'll see here down the bottom that the channel has been added. We'll also like to put in a second channel, which would be the module temperature in degrees Celsius. And again, click the add button. So two channels have been added. You'll see the unit is degrees Celsius. The value will be taken as the average values and the chart type will leave it as a bar. For your scaling, you can leave it as automatic and Sony Portal will just scale the image for you. If you scroll down a bit, there is a second Y2 axis. This is used for different devices and a different channel. So for this one, we will choose to display the plant information, current system, and for the channel, we'll show power. And click the add button, so the channel's been added. We'll use a different chart type. So we'll use area, just for a bit of emphasis in the diagram. In the time settings, you'll see there is a selection for year, month, day or hour. What we'd like to see is for day. For a day setting, the count of interval is one and the time unit is hour, which means it will display one day of data every hour. We can use the preview selection. You will see that there is data for one day and values every hour. So if we were to change the intervals to two, there would be the values for two days and the measurement is every hour. Once you're happy with the diagram, you click save. So once you've finished adding the last module, it will come back to a kind of summary page. So there's the name of the page, approval. If you were to check this box, this page will be publicly available on our Sunny Portal website, and there's a URL to the page. 
After you click save, it will take you to the page you've just created, which has the image, text, and diagram that we just created. If you click on the diagram, it will show you an enlarged image. Okay, so now we'll start with our second example. The top there is a table and the bottom is another diagram with the total yield from two tri-powers and the installation data from a sensor box. To create this page, again, we will need to go to configuration, visualization on the left, and select new page on the create user defined pages. For this page, we'll call it yield and installation, and it will be a page with two diagrams. So click on the image to select. So for the first module type, we'll go down to table and select create. So in page configuration, you will see that there are pre-configured table templates for you to use. So there's plant energy, inverter energy, specific yield. If you were to create your own table, you can choose the last option and you'll be able to tailor it to your needs. So for our example, we'll choose to add the inverter energy. Click on add and it'll take you back to the page configuration and you'll notice that the module type has changed to table. For the second module, again, we'll choose diagram. Click on create. For the Y1 axis in the filter selection, we'll be plotting channels from our photovoltaic inverter. The page will refresh after every selection. So for devices, we we'll choose STP12. And for the channel, you will see all the values that are measured by the inverter. For example, we'll be choosing to show the total yield in kilowatt hours. Click add to add the channel. Once that channel has been added, we can choose to select our second device. Once that has refreshed, you will notice that the channel list has shortened. This is because you're plotting it on the same axis, which means it has to be of the same unit. So select total yield and click add. Now both channels have been added. For the chart type, we'll leave it as bar. And for the value, it will be meter to change. For the meter reading, that would be the total on the units and the cumulative change would be the difference. For the Y2 axis, in the filter selection, we'll again be choosing sensor and under devices, the sensor box and the channel would be the insulation. Click on add. Again, we'll change the chart type to area. For the time setting, which is day, and it will refresh, we'll leave it as the default count of intervals for one and the time unit as hour. You can preview the diagram. Once you're happy with the diagram, hit save. Again, it will take you to the summary page. So click save again to confirm. And it will take you to the page you've just created. Here we see the inverter energy table and at the bottom, the inverter yield with installation data from the sensor box. So with our examples today, you should now be able to create your own pages in Sunny Portal. I'm Wendy Trung, thanks for watching. Thank you.